What's up people, Melod here, coming to you with a video. This time we are going to be making chole or Punjabi chole. For that you need one cup of chickpeas. And this needs to be soaked in three cups of water. Just mix it around a little. Make sure there are no air bubbles and the chickpeas are not sticking to each other and we'll let them sit in water and let them soak at least for two to three hours. Alright people, so it has been about three and a half hours. The chickpeas have soaked a lot of water as you can see. The uh, chickpeas have uh, gone up quite a bit. If you look at the size comparison, this is the chickpea that has been soaked and this is the one that is still dry. As you can see there's a big difference uh, it has literally doubled or tripled in size so now we're going to be putting this in the pressure cooker if you don't have a pressure cooker you can always use an instapot instapot is going to take a little bit more time so we don't want to use the same water that we had we're going to take our pressure cooker take that chickpeas take them out you can use a sieve i just use my hands and put it in the pressure cooker and you can put this plant, uh, water into your plants it's safe for them one cup of chickpeas that are now rehydrated we're going to be using three cups of water and i'm using my kettle because uh, it boiled the water ahead of time it speeds up the process quite a bit and to aid the cooking process also add salt add salt to taste uh, i'm using sea salt here if you don't have sea salt uh, be careful of the quantity you don't want too much sodium in your life uh, generally speaking one cup normally will take three and a half uh, spoons of uh, salt put the lid back on and put it on gas while that's going go ahead and prepare your wet ingredients with an exception of tomatoes which I don't have uh, cut just yet I did chop finely chopped uh, but onions and you want them to be finely uh, chopped that way they do uh, disintegrate pretty quickly because we are going to be making it into a gravy that the chickpeas are going to go in. I also took about four cloves or five cloves of garlic uh, and about one inch of ginger along with three or four Thai chili peppers that are diced uh, finely. Again, all these ingredients are up to your liking, up to your taste. If you can't handle too many of them, <laughs> don't push too much. While the pressure cooker is going, we're going to start the cooking process for the tarka. We got our kudahi. Uh, or a wok, add a little bit of oil, I'm using uh, olive oil over here and I'm also going to add a little bit of uh, cooking oil, vegetable oil that way it doesn't smoke up. Swirl that around, that way the sides don't stick. While the pressure cooker is going, I got my tarka dani or the namak dani ready and I'm going to be, basically, you can pick this up from the Indian store, extremely handy. I'm going to be putting in a small spoon of mustard seeds. Yes, these are whole mustard seeds. And they will start popping. We're also going to put in cumin. And as soon as you start hearing the popping sound, that's when you toss in the bay leaf. Now that that's done, now we add the onions. Always add away from yourself. And this might look quite a bit, but the onions are going to cook and reduce. So just shake them up. Leave it on high heat and leave it open because we want the water to evaporate. While this is going, I'm going to be to uh, dicing the tomatoes. A few minutes have lapsed. I'm going to mix it up. Some of the onions have started to become golden brown. I'm going to move them aside a little bit. As you can see, they have literally uh, reduced uh, quite a bit. Now I'm going to be putting in uh, Badi Elaichi. If you don't have Badi Elaichi, uh, it's available at the Indian store. Uh, just break it apart, just toss it in. And also dry red chilies. Don't worry, they're not going to burn. So as soon as we toss it in, we're going to mix them up. And this is what my personal technique is. I move uh, the onions to the back, move the kirahi or the wok a little back. That way I have a little bit of oil and in this empty space I will toss in the ginger first. Ginger is a little bit more wholesome uh, vegetable or wholesome root. In goes the ginger. 
along with the green chili and we just want the oils uh, to get released we just want to start smelling ginger and the green chilies uh, aroma as soon as that happens that means the ginger has started to cook we're gonna push that back once again and you're right in goes the garlic and similar to before we're gonna wait for the garlic to start releasing its aroma and its flavor don't worry it looks chunky but it's gonna be fine uh, at this point I've also cut the heat down to low because now we want to slowly cook them if the oil is less at this point you can add it on the sides now we can mix it up and leave the heat at low and once the onions have started to become golden brown and you can see the garlic and ginger also has uh, started to assimilate and the aroma is filling the kitchen this is when at the low gas we're going to be tossing in the dry spices and those dry spices are chole masala you can get that uh, at uh, any store preferably pick up MDH and pick up Punjabi chole masala turmeric powder red chili powder coriander and cumin powder amchur powder which is tanginess and a little bit of salt just dump it all in right on top and we are going light on the red chili because I know I did add green chili to it that goes in and now we stir it up and all these ingredients uh, the dry ingredients also they are at your liking if you don't like too spicy of a food don't have to put too much of it I personally can handle my heat you know how I do cooking here and as soon as you start seeing the spices have started to separate or as soon as you start smelling the delicious aroma the amazing aroma now we're going to add in tomatoes tomatoes are going to prevent the burning of the spices from taking place and to speed up the gravy process we're going to be adding about quarter cup of hot water that goes right in and yes our main intention basically at this point is to reduce it down and make it into a pulp some people use a hand blender I personally don't prefer it because it pulverizes everything it's a speedy process I personally put it at low heat and let it go and while the tomatoes might look whole they are going to disintegrate too and tarka is getting almost ready at this point it's been about 25 minutes I'm going to open up the pressure cooker release the steam and see where the chickpeas are and how cooked are they all right I've released the pressure of the cooker and yes 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 this is exactly what we are looking for some of the chickpeas have started to split some of them are whole mix them up pick one up very carefully hot oh yeah oh yeah I can eat this alone it's so good now I'm gonna put the turka in which is right here and yes we're putting it right into the pressure cooker mix it up mine leaves a little bit more water I'm gonna add about a half a cup of it uh, the way I'm gonna add I'm gonna put it in this karahi I'm gonna scrub it off and the brown bits have been taken off completely and I'm gonna put this in mix it up and no it's not ready to be served just yet but it's a perfect time to check uh, your salt and your spices just take a spoon just take a little bit from top make sure there are no salt spices and cool it down a little and taste it I don't need to do anything I'm gonna put the whistle back in or uh, the cover back in I'm gonna bring it up to a quick boil one more whistle and it'll be ready to eat so I'll see you as soon as this is done whistling all right we are back I just released the last leftover steam carefully and oh my god oh my god the smell is incredible all the big tomato chunks have assimilated that I have to take a taste I have to take a taste no I'm not going to use an old spoon I'm going to try a newer spoon just a little bit oh my god I cannot lie extremely delicious extremely good uh, serving suggestion for this 
you can serve it with paratha you can serve it with uh, chapati you can serve it with puri chole puri or you can serve it with rice considering it's extremely hot i'm not going to garnish it with coriander or cilantro because uh, those things are just going to burn and they're not going to taste good do try this recipe and do let me know in the comments below what recipes you want me to see uh, make in the future as always like comment subscribe and i will see you guys and girls on the next one later people and don't forget to thumbs up